good YouTube. It's your boy Melly. Back at again one of them banger ass videos. Today we finna be doing a little song. Hold on. No, that, that's why I am Melly. Let me, let me get back to the regular Melly. It's good YouTube. It's your boy Melly. Today we finna have one of them banger ass videos today, man. Y'all see we got like that range, man. We got the squirting out. We got the uh 45 out. And today we finna be doing Dodger on review on the Radiant Ramjet. Got 400 and some change dollar compensator. Is it overpriced? I'll kind of say it. it's crazy, but it's radiant. You get what you pay for them. So let's see if this radiant ramjet is really worth 400 and like $50. Hey, 50. You get the barrel, you get the uh, compensator that don't need to be timed. At least this model don't need to be timed because this is the original teardrop model. When y'all buying the ramjet, make sure y'all buy the original teardrop model that good teardrop look to it. The regular ones, like you can spin them all the way around in circles. This one is timed perfectly. You set it right on there and you just screw it. Ain't no spinning around, none of that. But skip all the yapping. Let's see if this Ramjet is really worth $400. We're gonna do some slow mode to see what the recoil management looking like. Even though I, I control recoil real good, so it might not be that big of a difference. But this thing reduces recoil by 40%. So you better be able to see a difference. You better. Man, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Nobody asked you how a bitch ass thing. You better shut the fuck up before I knock your fucking head off your shoulders, little ugly ass bitch. And it's four hundred and fifty dollars. This ain't cheap. You feel what I'm saying? This is a whole nother firearm. You could a red dot, a SRO almost. How's around review? I'm gonna give y'all my honest thoughts. Let me tell you if it's worth it or should I just go uh, port it? Let's see, man. I bought the regular barrel so we can switch back and forth. I brought some sh some uh not so experienced shooters with me. Oh, they're trying to hide. Some not so experienced shooters with me. <laughs> so so y'all can get their thoughts and they'll tell you if the compensator does make the gun feel like it shoots softer or I'd rather just keep it stopped. Let's jump straight into this video. I'm gonna get some of my thoughts as I shoot it. I'm gonna go back to the OEM barrel first. Ramjet is held on by a, a um, I think it's a twerk. A T, a T8, I think. No, T10, T10 screw right here. I'm just gonna take this, I'll screw that John. Right back to the factory. Bam. Get the alien bro in here. We're gonna get some shots out of it. Let's see what that recoil is looking like. This is a soft shooting gun, but I'm gonna tell y'all off rip. I do feel a difference already. Already. We gonna let us somewhere else. It feel like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel a slide coming back a little more uh, with the Ramjet. Actually, I meant to say, I feel the frame coming back a little more. With the Ramjet, it's usually just a slide moving. Slide moving back and, back and forth. I'm gonna do a slow mo right there. It's usually just a slide moving back and forth. This trigger is trash. Not a not a big fan of this trigger. This trigger is dog water. But um, I'm gonna put some more shots in here, get some more slow mo clips, so y'all can actually see, get a good view of how this how this uh gun shoots with the regular barrel. Right now, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of feeling dog water. Without that ramjet, I might have I might have pampered myself. But uh, let's load some more rounds up. Let's see. Already with about 20 shots in, I feel the, it's like a, I want to say drastic difference, major difference between without the rimjet and with the rimjet. Do I feel 40%? I might feel more than 40%. This mug is snappy right now. I don't want to know it, say it's snappy, snappy, like uncontrollably, but I do feel more with the rimjet, it's more like the recoil is like this. Without the rimjet, it's more vertical recoil. So uh, I'ma let them these these goofies back there shoot it a little. 
I ain't mean to call them no goofies. I'm gonna let them shoot it. We're gonna see what they thought says on it. But hold on, first they put, they just made a target. So I, I, I brought some targets to the range today because I didn't want to like buying some. So I uh, made some homemade targets. Look at this target they made. Let's see if I can give him some head taps without the round jack. Let's see if I can pop him in his head a couple of times. We're gonna load up, we're gonna load up six rounds. All right, we got five rounds loaded up. Uh, we got 10 rounds loaded up. I'm gonna let her get a feel for it. And then, so we gonna see how she like it without the ramjet. Then we gonna throw, we gonna let her shoot it with 10 rounds. Throw the ramjet on and see how, if she can feel it different. Cock it. Oh. Wait, she just grabbed it by the SRO. This girl must got some money, she tripping, hold on. You're gonna, you're gonna shoot that target, but wait. Get your finger off the trigger. I know how to hold it. But you just wasn't holding it. Right. Yes, I Promise you, you wasn't. Let me see. She claimed she got her grip right, so I'm gonna let her do whatever. You, you aiming for the middle of the circle. Oh, We're gonna check our shots. Did it feel like it was kicking a lot? Yeah. All right, so she did decent. I'm gonna give her this. She did decent. 10 shots, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All shots on paper, we're gonna give you that. That's good. You, you did yeah. good on that. You did good on that. Okay, so when I told her to slow down, she was like, boom, 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 and put it and shot all the way over there. That's why I said slow down. Because you when you was focused, you was hitting right there. And you was this is good. That just means you were shooting low. That means you just gotta fix your grip. You're shooting low to the left. But like if we had to move this, took it over to the right up a little bit, you would have been all you'd have all three of them yeah. in the same like two inches. But uh so yeah, that's decent. We're gonna put 10 more rounds in there and she looking all lost. Hello, motherfucker. Oh my goodness, you were lost. She was lost. You gonna put ten rounds in there and let her shoot? Wait, would it be? We just look through that red dot. Your aim is horrible. I don't know where you're shooting at. I don't even. I can't. We, hey, chat. We ain't gonna go look at the paper. We ain't gonna do her like that. We just gonna get her more training. We're gonna talk about it. We just gonna show that difference between now and when she's ready to get her CPF. She's gotta come to the range more. This is her second time at the range. My girl be shooting. My girl, the first one that was shooting at first, she shoot more. So she know how to hit a little bit. Quite this on her second time shoot. But uh, we're gonna put the radiant ramjet on here. We're gonna see if they can see the difference. First, I'm gonna shoot it. My girl shoot it. We're gonna quite to shoot it. See if they see the difference between the 40% recoil reduction that the ramjet, ramjet is supposed to do. 10 shots, ready and ramjet on. Let's see. Way flatter. Way flatter. Look at that slow mo. Y'all will see the difference 100%. 40%, I say about 60% recoil reduction. But uh, and no, I ain't trying to just get no uh collab with them. But I'm gonna let my girl shoot it. Let's see if she thinks it's actually 60%. I mean, it's supposed to be 40% recoil reduction with this on. So let's see. Let's see where her shots go. Let's see where her shots go. And it's supposed to be flatter, so it's not supposed to have so much recoil with that on there. I'm
Stop chasing it, relax. I think this is all. What's all? The... No, you are. Did it feel like the gun was kicking less with this on there? Or you really couldn't tell? Yeah, it was. Kicking it was kicking less? less? Yep. All right, we're going we gonna to slow-mo and make sure she ain't just capping. Just make sure this thing is kicking less with this ramjet on there. Look at that color. This is urban gray, regular SRO, Cerakoted radium ramjet, X300, overwatch trigger, which is dog water. I do not like this trigger. Once again, tell Johnny Glock to send your boy out a trigger, man. Go spend Johnny, Johnny Glock to tell him sending out a trigger. And thank you, Radiant, for sending out this ramjet. No, I'm just playing. Pay for this for my own money. I'm just trying to speak, this, speak the collab into existence. There you go. All right, all right. Did it, did it feel did it feel like it recoil you less than a it felt more less like jumpy yeah less like i want to drop it okay all right yeah stop grabbing the camera you should have seen it it was like <laughs> but like y'all heard what she said she said she felt like it was less like she wanted to drop it which ultimately ultimately means it recoil you less the radiant ramjet put it in that work bro it's pressure I'm telling y'all, it's hard, it's dog, it's not dog water like this trigger I got, it's pressure. Tell them people behind that camera, so I'm making that face before I, before I get like that. Nah, nah, don't try to put up your tools and your deuces, we ain't doing none of that. Do that stuff you was doing before. But I'm finna get to, I'm finna get to shooting. What the answer you just doing? I'm do the dance. No. Do it. No. You trash. I'll do my ducky that I was doing. Stop, stop. Sorry, we could not film this. St okay, stop. Inappropriate. <laughs> oh. If anybody was curious, the gun we used today in this video is the Glock 45 MOS with the urban gray Cerakote on it. Got rid of our old Glock 45 and picked this thing up. Kept our radiant ramjet from the old 45 and it actually looks better. I just need that stipple. But we gonna finish this video off at the crib. The rest of these uh, clips is gonna be random clips of us shooting. All the way at the end of the video is gonna be the overview at the crib where I sit down and I break down the price point. If you will go with um, how much the radiant would be, how much would the ports be if you decided to go the ported route. And just an overview of how good I actually think this product is. If you don't want to watch all the way to the end, I'm going to tell y'all straight up. It's amazing. The Radiant Ramjet is definitely worth the money. Only thing that I would say I don't like is it makes your 19 slide basically a 17 slide. So for the rest of my firearms, I probably go with ports. For this one, it's nice to have the Ramjet. I haven't yeah, we finna just do some random shooting. All at the end of the video is going to be the overview. Hopefully y'all stay to the end. If not, all right, man. We're gonna catch y'all on the next one.
It's a blessing. Woo. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a blessing to have a girl that I really want to shoot. Let's look at our target though. Oh, I missed it. This is good though. You was uh, 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 uh. You did a lot of those towards the end, but when you started off, it was that you stacked those two. It was boom, boom, boom. And you went there and then you started going down a little. All right, I hit her around here. Him, him. He did, he did pretty decent. I ain't finna waste all my rounds on this. You want to keep shooting a scorpion? Yeah. I guess we shooting the rest of the rounds out the scorpion. You got a slap in, remember? Oh. Back at the crib. We ain't gonna make this video too long because it's already about 20 minutes now. We're gonna keep this little overview within like three minutes. So, is the Radiant Ranger worth it? I'm gonna say it's absolutely worth it. From a person, a very, very experienced shooter, when I was shooting it without the Ramjet, it was it was pretty snappy. It wasn't uncontrollably snappy, but with the Ramjet, it kind of make it feel like a 22 kind of. You guys see through that um the clips the slow-mo clips it's definitely a flat way flatter shooter 40 percent re recoil reduction i would say it's almost about 50 with the proper grip i was shooting what 120 124 grains i was shooting 124 blaze rounds it was shooting pretty flat with this ramjet that's all i'm gonna say pretty flat i was saying at the beginning of the video the ramjet is it's not just a regular screw it's a tapered screw that the ramjet is held on for, I mean, held on with. So this doesn't require a, a threaded barrel. It's just tapered right on. We're gonna go over costs. The ramjet runs you about, let me tell you, before tax the Radiant ramjet runs you four, two, man, three, uh, no, it runs you 389. So you could think about with tax, Michigan sales tax will probably get you about 410, almost 420. So that's $420 for the barrel and for the compensator. That's kind of, I would say it's a, it's a little pricey. Yes, but like for the, for the product that you're getting, it's kind of worth it. I would just look at it as 200 for the comp, 200 for the barrel, cause you're getting an upgraded and nice barrel. You see the aesthetics on that barrel. You could go with something like the um, Parker Modern Machine micro comp, but at the end of the day, you will just get a plain Jane barrel. Nothing with like no type of design. I like my guns to be, and they claim that the PMM is a little better, but I like my guns to be aesthetically pleasing as much as I like them to be on the um, performance side. So I, do, I really didn't have to go with the PMM because I could already control recoil pretty decent. So I went with the Ramjet. Okay, so Ramjet, we're gonna say $420. But you can take an OEM barrel, OEM slide, send it off to Tampa Gunworks and get $150 ports. Next bill, we're gonna send out to Tampa Gunworks if I don't get that Zev Hypercomp. Overall, I would advise you guys to go get one. I would advise you guys to, if your friend got one, shoot his first because at the end of the day, it's $400. Don't nobody got money just laying around to uh, spend $400 on a product that they don't know is good or not. But if you do got $400 laying around, slide me some money. But it looks good too. It's not just performance. The aesthetics look good of having a little compensator that sits flush to the slide. I do not like them big strike industry. Like I'm not, that's not my style personally. 
but after a thousand rounds on this thing, it's held up pretty good. I never had a jam with it. I never had to change recoil springs, never had to tamper with any of the internals. I just slapped it on, throw the guy right on there, and it ran perfect. Nobody should have to change. You should never have to change a recoil spring with the Ramjet. If you did, you probably, your old recoil spring is probably worn out or something. Because this thing runs flawlessly. Hopefully my thousand round review make you guys go out and buy one or I help somebody who wanted to buy one and then they see how I run. Now they probably don't want to buy one, but more like I feel like you would be super flat. You see my cousin said without the Ramjet, when she shot it, it made her feel like she wanted to drop the gun. Even though she wasn't an experienced shooter, even though her grip wasn't too good, if her grip was even better, she would feel the recoil reduction more, but she's still learning. I still got to teach her some things. So that's besides the point right now. But to be honest, personally, I love this Ramjet. I wanted to go get me some ports from Tampa, but as of now, I don't need it, bro, because this thing is flatty. This thing is a flat T. But if you guys want to go buy one of these, I got a code with brown nails. I got affiliate. I'll get y'all some of y'all, or y'all want to uh, help boy out with the affiliate link. Slide, hit my DM, or check my link tree, and you'll see my, uh, my brown nails affiliate link. But without further ado, we're gonna be done with this video. We're gonna be rolling this video, and that's gonna be it, man. Cause we really, we really went all the way out on this video. It's probably like 25 minutes. I hope everybody been having a good day. I hope everybody been shooting, training. Make sure you train. You can't just have a gun and not train with it. Cause what's the purpose? You're not gonna know how to use it. Even me, I still don't know how to uh, maximize my capabilities when I'm using these firearms. Because plenty of things that I could be doing better: reloads, shooting. Uh, finding that dot, see right there. I still couldn't find my dot. I'm still finding myself up uh, and dipping down. Man, this S this SRO gets super dirty. Y'all probably can't see it, but it gets super dirty. But make sure y'all have a blessed day. Dangerous, stay legally dangerous. Stay, say uh, legally stepping. Without further ado, we out. Mm -hmm.